Karen Jeffrey Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video lecture we are going to discuss seven segment decoders. So guys, in this video we will discuss what is a seven segment dec decoder, where it is used and how we can draw the truth table of seven segment decoder. So guys, for the full video all of you stay tuned. So guys, the seven segment decoders, they are used to display decimal number in your standard calculating devices. For example, if you see your calculator or a data bank or a digital watch, okay. So they display decimal number using seven segment displays. Okay, for example, if you know, if you have seen a calculator, I'm sure you have seen a calculator screen. So it displays the decimal numbers like this as collection of seven segments okay so guys the seven segment decoders okay are used to decode a decimal number so that it can display the decimal number using this type of display we call it as a seven segment display so in these displays we have seven segments they are arranged in format of eight they are arranged in format of Eight, and each segment has a name. This is segment A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So it, each segment has a name. Now guys, suppose I want to display decimal number 1. So I want to display decimal number 1. So what my 7 segment decoder will do? Out of these 7 segments, it will switch on some segments and it will switch off some other segments for example to display one it will turn on segment b and it will turn out segment c rest all segments will be off and you can see one on your screen now similarly if i want to display decimal number seven now to display decimal number no let, let us look so that you are not confused so to display decimals number seven so already we have this b is on c is on which other segment we need to turn on that is segment a so segment a will be on b will be on and c will be on rest all other segments will be off and what you can see is you can see decimal number seven okay now suppose we want to display decimal number six now to display six which segments we want to switch on to display six we need a on e on d on c on and g on so b we will turn off b will be turned off here red color indicates on so what we display here so what we display here using seven segment we display decimal number six so guys in this video we will convert we will do the truth table for a seven segment decoder how we will decide for which decimal number which segments will be on and which segments will be off actually we know we know but how we can program it in digital logic you know digital logic works in zeros and once okay so how we can write the truth table okay and from that truth table what should be the boolean equations okay which can be used to create a circle for a seven segment decoder okay so all that we will do in this video so guys this will be our basic truth table okay so in this truth table i have a decimal number okay so then i have the equivalent bcd code so guys, what are BCD codes and how we can convert a decimal number to BC, BCD codes? For that, I have a detailed video. I will leave the link of that video in the description section. So you can refer to it. Okay. Otherwise also, when we will do this, you will understand it. It, it is very easy to follow. And here we have all the seven segments. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So they are donated by are small letters a b c d okay and here where is the seven segment display how the number will be displayed okay so i hope you understand here is the decimal number for example the decimal number is zero 
So what is the BCD code for zero? The BCD code for zero is zero 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 zero. Okay. Now guys, to turn on to display zero. Now suppose this is my seven segment display. How zero will be displayed? Zero will be displayed like this. So which segments are on for zero? Which segments are on for zero? A, B, C, D, E, and F. Rest all segments are off. Okay. So the segments which we need to turn on for zero. Okay. We will donate them by one. So A is on, B is on, C is on, D is on, E is on, F is on. So which segment is off? Segment G is off. It will be donated by zero. It will be donated by zero. Okay. So for your better understanding, let us do it for number one. Now what is the BCD code for number one? Eight is zero, four is zero, two is zero, one is one. So for one, which decimal number, which segments we, which we need to turn on? To display number one, I will write it here. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, so turn one on. To, tur to display one, so we need to turn segment B and C as on. B and C as on. Rest all other segments will be off. So this is B. This is C rest everything off and what will be displayed here or it will be displayed like this one what we get here is one so i will remove this and how zero will be displayed zero will be displayed like this and how one will be displayed it will be displayed like this okay so guys, now we want two. So now we want two. How do we display two? Two is displayed like this. So what is this? A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So which segments are on? We have A on, B on, D on, E on and G on. So A, on so hot two is donated with BCD code zero zero one zero. So what segments are on or easy for you? What segments are off? C and F are off. C is off and F is off. Rest everything is on. And what we get here is what we get here is we get We get two. Let us do it for three. What is BCD code for three? Zero, one, no, no, zero, zero, one, one. Now for three, how do we donate three? We donate three like this. So A is on, B is on, C is on, D is on. E is off, F is off, and G is on. So E and F are off. So E is here, F is here. Rest everything is on, on, on. Here I missed one segment. So what do we have here? What do we have here? We have number three. And so on guys, we can write all the segment codes for the decimal numbers from 0 to 9 from 0 to 9 now we have number 4 so what is 4 in bcd 0 1 0 0 how 4 will be displayed in 7 segment 4 will be displayed by turning on segment this 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 and this so this is a this is b c d e F and G. So segment B is on, C is on, F is on and G is on. So segment B is on. 
C is on, F is on and G is on. F is on and G is on. Rest everything is off. And what do we get here? We get seven number four. So guys, similarly, you can write it for zero to nine. So I'll complete this truth table. Again, I'll quickly revise it for you. So guys, we did up to four. Now similarly, I wrote the seven segment code for decimal number five, six, seven, eight, and nine. For example, so let us take number seven. So what is seven in BCD? Zero, one, one, one. That is four plus two plus one gives us seven. And how do we, which segments we need to turn on to display seven? We need A, B, C. A, B, C. So these segments will be on A, B, C, on, 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 rest everything is off and we get seven, seg seven on the seven segment display. So guys, similarly for eight, eight is easiest. So all the segments should be on to display number eight. So this is eight, one, zero, zero in BCD and one, 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 all the segments are on for decimal number eight so guys i hope you understand up to here i hope it is easier so the table looks a little complicated when the first time students they see it they feel what what the hell is this so but but it is actually easy okay and it is very logical okay so from the truth table guys so we can write the boolean equations for each segment we can write the boolean equations for each segment for example i want to write the boolean equation for okay here it is i want to write the boolean equation for uh, let us take a smaller one so, uh, for segment e let us write the boolean equation for segment e so how do we write this boolean equation take all the outputs which are one take all the outputs which are one and corresponding to those one take all the inputs so this is one then this is one then yeah this is six this is one then eight is one and that's it and that's it for segment e one two three four okay so segment e is on for which which decimal number segment e is on for decimal number zero for decimal number two for decimal number six and for decimal number eight so what is e so e what will be the boolean equation for e e is equal to zero plus two plus six plus eight zero plus two plus six plus eight now zero so what is zero zero is a complement b complement c complement d complement or we can write it as i hope it is clear zero is a complement b complement c complement d complement okay so what is two two is a complement b complement c and d complement a complement b complement c and d complement what is six a complement b c d complement a complement b c d complement and what is a what is a eight eight is a b c d complement a b complement c complement and d complement so what we get e so this is the boolean equation for e okay or so you can simply find the decimal number and corresponding to decimal number you can write the complements and non complements so guys i hope you understand it i hope you understand it because of the lack of space because of the lack of space i am not okay so let us write one more boolean equation so let us write a boolean equation for okay for a 
let us write a boolean equation for a so guys segment a is on for 0 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 so these are the decimal numbers for which segment a is on now then i can easily write the boolean equation for it so what is 0 0 is a complement plus b complement a complement b complement c complement d complement so what is 2 2 is a complement b complement c and d so then we get 3 that is a complement b complement c and d then we get 5 that is a complement b c complement d then we get 6 a complement b c d complement then we get 7 that is a complement b c d then we get 8 that is a complete a b c d complement and then we get ultimately 9 so what is 9 9 is a plus 1 that is a B complement C complement D. So guys from this Boolean equation for you can write the Boolean equation for each segment and from this Boolean equation you can draw the circuit and before drawing the circuit you can simplify it. So to simplify the Boolean equations there are many techniques. Soon I will be uploading videos for that also. So guys I hope you understand it and guys if you understand my lectures if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more lectures for subjects like digital electronics computer organization operating system advanced operating system concurrent programming system analysis and design and so on so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned